for cheap and reliable foot 23 coins head over to u7buy.com they deliver fast and reliable foot 23 coins and make sure to use code muzz for five percent off at checkout links in the description yes guys and welcome back to a brand new sniping video apologies i am a little bit late to recording this i've been looking for filters over the past few hours or so we've got a brand new team of the week in packs which unfortunately once again i think about 80 to 90 percent of the team of the week is pretty much discarded there are about nine to ten thousand coins so uh, we're in desperate need of an sbc or just something uh, to increase team of the week prices especially at like the 82s even up to 85. So like that 85 cash for Schmeichel might be one of the best players to invest in, boys. So I'm going to give you a little investment tip to start off the video, and then we'll jump into some very good low tier filters. I've got some sick low tier ones. I have got a couple good mid mid tier ones as well. But the, the low tier market, boys, even if you're on a bigger budget, it's pretty sick right now. But uh, in terms of your investments, if you can get an 85 team of the week for around 12 to 13 thousand coins. Um, you cannot go wrong. You genuinely cannot go wrong. So Kasper Michael's the first one. Uh, there was Griezmann from last team of the week. I noticed he's an 85 team of the week that is coming in around a, around that 13 mark. So I'd probably say the first sniping method you could do, uh, just try any snipes you can get Schmeichel for under 13. So 12, 750 um, or even less than that. Happy days. I'm going to pick up one for now. I might pick up a load, uh, load more soon. I've not got loads of coins to invest in, to be fair, but uh, very good sniping method. And also Griezmann as well, like I've said. So Griezmann and thing. And just pop them in your club. You don't have to go ham and buy loads. Just buy a couple. Um, but 12 to 13k, you cannot go wrong. An 85 team of the week is just too cheap, especially with the World Cup promo coming up. Because hopefully team of the week will rise then. Okay, first filter, boys. Let's jump into the first one. Uh, we're going to head over to a Premier League one. So we're going to go to Premier League. I noticed a lot of random French non-rares have gone up in price. So we're going to go to Premier League left back. And we're going to go to French. So um, these are all coming in around minimum about 1.4. And as you can see there, there's the first one to get listed for 650. Um, now, because the non-rares can get listed for really cheap. Oh my, sh they've got up even more. 1.7 minimum. This is what I mean. Like if I would have won that snipe, that's nearly tripling my coins. Um, so the players that are going to pop up, let's get rid of the max price for a second. So we've got Parade. Parade, how you, however you pronounce it, at Southampton. Uh, we've got Kazawa. We've got Dinya. I think it's M3. There might be another one, but I'm, I think it's going to be mainly them three. So them three year uh, uh, non res which means we could literally snipe them for as little as like 350 to 400 coins. Um, now, the tax down here, we're talking... Oh, my God. Why do I always mess up on the best snipes? And there you go. Little competition as well. I messed up on Parade, and we still won it. So we're going to get that list for 1.6. That should sell instantly at 1.6, really. Um, but yeah, literally, if you're sniping at about... If you're selling at 1.7, which I reckon some of them will sell for 1.7. What the... Someone's just listed a load of Kazawas at 1.2. Should I pick one up? Nah, I'm too rich for that. I'm too rich for that. But uh, yeah, solid filter, boys. If you want to use it as a bidding method as well, just type in uh, any bids we win for what, even 1.4 or under, because the 5% tax is very low. Uh, and with non res there's always a load to bid on. Uh, there's a lot to bid on. So um, I have a bash for that, boys, and that should be a solid low budget filter. Um, okay, next up, we're going to stick. We're not going to stick to the Premier League. We're going to go to another low tier one. Um, we're going to go to Argentinian. We're going to go to centre back, and we're going to go to gold. Um, now, you've got every single league gold. I've worded that horrific. So erase what I've just said in your ears. Imagine every single league's. Uh, okay, I'm going to stop again. Boys, there's a lot of players that can pop up in this. That, that's all I'm going to say. Um, so we're not going to a specific league. That's what I'm trying to say. There's a hell of a lot of players that can pop up. We've got Romero, who's gone up in price. Lissandro Martinez. Uh, we've got Sonessi. So we've got three Premier League centre-backs there. Uh, there's a Serie centre-back, I noticed, who does play for... It's not Fiorentina guy. He's another option. But I think he plays at Udinese, and he's a little bit more expensive. You've got Lima, 1.4. Otamendi. So there's an absolute ton of players. Um, from all ranges, all different leagues, and they're just going to get listed rapid. Happy days. Uh, so you could easily sell for about 1.4, I reckon. We're going to pick up two non rares there, 800 to 850. Um, easy as that. Let's go see how much he's worth. Um, let's quickly have a look at Siri, actually. I'll, sh I'll show you the player that I was on about. I think he's called Perez. Uh, he was worth a little bit more earlier on. Oh, he's come down a little bit, but yeah, we've got this man as well. Um, so we can sell this uh, Martinez geezer for about 1.3 to 1.4 we'll probably get them both listed i might list one for 1.4 sell it slowly and then the other will, will list for 1.3 as well so near enough double that coins just there and i'll snipe him for a couple seconds boys so 
um, nice and easy. So that's the next filter. Uh, we'll speed through the filters a little bit. I'm going way too slow. So next one, we'll go to we'll go to a, a mid tier one. Surprisingly, boys, this is working sick. So um, Leeds won a certain amount of games. Uh, so the Tyler Adams is going to get upgraded, which has pushed him uh, up quite nicely. To be fair, he was on like the 10k mark, and now he's up to about 15 to 16. So if you've got a tradable Tyler Adams in your club, get him sold. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be sleeping between. All the one to watches basically because all the one to watches are minimum about 15 to 16k you've got bergvine who's about 15 i think bergvine's actually the cheapest you've got adams who's now 16 um, and there's a ton you could get really lucky and get like a 30k card on this um but uh, yeah i really enjoy this filter i know they're not in packs so they might not get listed quite as much as like a, a play that's in packs but uh still do the job sell at 15 about 750 coins tax so you want to snipe for about a thousand coins less and good to go so that is one of the mid tier ones okay next up we're going to go to another this is a really sick low tier one very very undercover i think only you guys watching will be doing this filter so we're going to go to the scottish league we're going to go to rangers now we have to have gold common on because the gold rares are too too cheap uh, and then we've also got to type in english so there's going to be two players to pop up here there's going to be the center back goldson and there's also going to be mr lundstrom uh, now I don't fully know why they are up in price, but they're go it looks like Goldson's about 1.4 to 1.5. He's a little bit cheaper than uh, oh my word 500 coins boys. I'm printing coins Got that list for 1.3 now Goldson's a little bit cheaper Um, I think Lundstrom's what is he maybe a couple hundred coins more? Yeah, literally about 1.8 to 1.9 or so Lindstrom um, But yeah simple as that the non rares boys absolutely sick for sniping because you can win him for 500 coins like I've just done that triple your coins uh happy is it's that simple to make coins okay i think is this the final one coming up uh it is it is going to be the final filter okay let's get this done boys and i will get back to my normal upload schedule as well boys um what day is it it's wednesday so it's it's going to be the world cup mode very soon world cup promo even so i'm praying the game sorts itself out a little bit I'm hoping he pull the finger out a little bit with the market. I've already made a video on it. I'm trying my best not to keep complaining about it, but it is painful how dead the market is. Uh, final filter. Before we do jump into the final filter, let's do a little quiz, actually. Um, I'll reveal the answer to the quiz the other day. So it wasn't actually this. Let me get the picture. So it was a Liverpool team from uh, back when they were in a bit of a shit position. And I asked for their goalkeeper and right back in this team. So Lovren and Matip at the back. Uh, but I asked for the right back and the goalkeeper. And the answers were, let me quickly pull it up. So the answers were Minule and also, or maybe not. Do I not have the answers? That, that's the Southampton team, you spud. Or maybe I don't have the answers. Do I have the answers? It's Minule and Klein. Minule and Klein, boys. Apologies. Uh, but yeah, the answers were Minule and Klein. So fair play if you got it. Okay, today's quiz is not going to be a quiz. We're going to do... Test your football knowledge. So if you've made it to the end of the video, boys, I want your prediction for who is going to win the World Cup. Now, in my opinion, I think everyone's sort of like on this sort of similar prediction of it's probably going to be Brazil or Argentina. I'm not sitting on the fence. I'm, I think Argentina are going to win it. I, I, I love the balance of their team now. Um, Messi's in the form of his life. I love their front three as well. Watching their team in the Copa America and some of the recent like friendlies and stuff, they look incredible. Um, and it's, it feels destined for Messi to end on a World Cup final win. So I'm going to go Argentina. Let me know who you guys think will win the World Cup. Obviously, England's team will be announced uh, tomorrow. Uh, so I don't have much confidence for England, to be honest. Because um, Southgate, Southgate's just pff, horrific. Horrific. Right, final filter. MLS. Brazilian. This filter is working once again. This filter just pops up. It, go, it comes back down and then it pops up again. Um, so maybe it's a good investment idea. When these come back down to four, 500 coins, they always seem to rebound with certain SBCs. So we're going to go to MLS Gold and Brazilian. Uh, we've got Luis Araujo. And we've also got a centre mid. I think there is two to pop up. It looks like the centre mid. Has he gone up a little bit? The more they are, the better, to be honest. It looks like he might have gone up a bit. So, he's, yeah, it's called João Paulo. Looks like he might be about might be about 2k. So, imagine you snipe João Paulo for 500 coins. Happy days. Like, insane profit. So, again, the tax is really low. So, if you're sniping at... Well, if you're selling at 1.4, snipe at, like, 1.2 if you wanted. 
um, and you're good to go, boys. So, um, yeah, hopefully you guys have made some good coins. Uh, once again, I do apologise that I can't give you more mid-tier and higher-tier filters. I usually would give you a load of Team of the Week filters, but once again, 90% of the Team of the Weeks are on the floor. We have sold Martinez as well. you love to see it. Um, and also, the only players that are expensive as well, which is really frustrating, uh, was Trippier. Trippier's like 18 to 19. Uh, Bremer. Madison. And the problem with them is Madison's already got one Team of the Week, so his first in form kills out of every single filter. Trippier can't filter because of some of the... There was some lower English... Smalling, I think Smalling was one of them that killed the filter. There was always one player that killed the filter because of all the Team of the Weeks being so low in price. Yeah, it all comes back to the same problem. We need Team of the Weeks to go up, basically. Simple as that, boys. But, uh, yeah, bit of a longer video. If you guys could drop a like, that'd be appreciated. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.